Hello everyone, I'm the Fryman, and this is my second album review. I'm going to start doing things a little bit differently after last week's video, uh, because it was a little bit lengthy. So instead of doing the entire album song by song, I'm just going to take my top five from every album and just kind of review the album that way. Uh, so for my first album review, I'm choosing to do Blink-182's Untitled Album, also known as Blink-182. Um, so to get things started, number five is The Fallen Interlude. Uh, it's a very different and unique song to not only uh, this album, but to Blink in general. Uh, for one, it's instrumental, which, I mean, I don't have a problem with in and of itself, because I actually quite enjoy instrumentals, but um, this one, what's different about it is that it kind of showcases all three members, Tom, Mark, and Travis. Uh, Mark starts it off just kind of with like this really bass line, I mean, that it's a really cool sound and bass line. Then you've got Tom, who just kind of comes in with almost Pink Floyd sound, uh, Pink Floyd like sounding guitar solos, which I like because I mean, I it sounds cool and I grew up listening to Pink Floyd. Uh, then Travis comes in towards the end with just these little drum solos. I mean, and they just sound really cool. Just like they're about maybe a second and a half long each, but they just sound really cool because Travis is a great drummer. But um, so number four, I've got Stockholm Syndrome. And Stockholm Syndrome is uh, probably the heaviest song on the album, and that, and it also has its uh, own intro track, uh, Stockholm Syndrome Interlude, which I love. It's just really interesting and different. Uh, then number three is Feeling This, which uh, you're hearing in the background right now. Uh, it's the first song on the album, and it's uh, I really like the story of how it was created. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, Mark and Tom they went to, uh, they were at one of their one of their one of the uh, one of their houses. And they just said, here, let's go into separate rooms and write for about an hour and then come out and see what we can come up with. They both wrote about the same thing, and then and so they kind of combined it and put it together into what we know as feeling this. Uh, you've got Tom's half of it, which is more just the raw emotion part of it. And then you've got Mark's part, which is just the more romantic side of it. And then my number two is I Miss You, also uh, has a video and it's the third song on the album and what I like about it is that for one Mark uses a stand-up bass uh, which is very different for Blank uh, the, different for punk in general actually and uh, it's a very iconic song very very well known it's one of their more popular songs and also it's funny because well with any Blink song really that Tom sings uh, if he starts if a word starts with an H he doesn't say the H but uh, it's a great song uh, and then number one, I've got Down. That is probably that, uh, that is my favorite song on this album for multiple reasons. Uh, it's got the, a piano part in it that I really like. It's played uh, actually in reverse. Like if you listen to it, you can hear the decay, and then you can hear the strike. And I just I've always thought that that sounds really cool. And it's a really romantic song. Uh, again, also has a video, uh, so it's fairly well known. Uh, the guitar and bass parts to it are really cool. Uh, it's like something I know how to play. And, yeah, that's really it for that. I mean, it's Blink-182. Uh, this one was a very hard album for me to decide on and actually get my top five settled because uh, it is my favorite Blink album, and it was just hard to decide on five tracks that I would just list as my top five. And anyway, yeah, I'm the Fry Man, and if you like what you've seen, then like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Thank you.